Hello, welcome to my channel, Jim Reads Too Slow. I'm Jim, and it's Tag Tuesday. I don't generally do a lot of tags, or I haven't traditionally, but I have been tagged by several people, um, and I'm starting to feel bad about uh, not doing the tags. So I'm going to go ahead and do one. Um, this is a tag created by um, Aaron at Aaron Read a Book. And it is the Booktuber name tag. Uh, I was tagged by Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics by this one, uh, for this one. So here goes. There are 10 prompts, um, each name for a Booktube channel, many of which I have followed for quite some time. So uh, to start out, number one, uh, books I'm not reading. A book that's been on your TBR forever. And the first thing that pops into my mind with this one is Infinite Jest. I attempted to read Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace back in the early 2000s. And I reached a point not too awful far in where I just thought, you know, maybe now is not the time to read this book. So I set it aside. And as time has gone by, I am reaching a point where I can finally admit to myself that I probably will never read Infinite Jest. It's a torture device. Um, it's, I, I can't, I can't even, it's back there somewhere in, behind all of those books. I can't even bring myself to dig it out and hold it up. So... Number one, David, uh, David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest. Okay, prompt number two. Uh, novel idea, a book with an interesting premise or plot device. <clears throat> now, I've picked um, Roadside Picnic by the Strugatsky brothers, uh, Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. This is a... Um, a Soviet-era science fiction novel, uh, and the premise is that uh, aliens have landed on Earth. They've, they've had kind of a pit stop on Earth. Um, the only thing is humans were not important enough or it wasn't convenient. Whatever reason, humans were not contacted. They were not communicated with at all. So the aliens came in camped out, had their pit stop, whatever it was. And then when they left, they just left behind all their junk and refuse and crap, whatever. Just like um, a group of picnickers or some sloppy, messy campers might leave behind trash when they leave uh, a forest. Uh, the only thing is, instead of the ants and and bugs and wildlife that comes out to, <coughs> excuse me, to um, investigate human refuse that's left behind. The humans are the bugs and the wildlife that come out to um, kind of check out what all this stuff is that was left behind. Some of it very dangerous, some of it just weird and even useful. <coughs> So a roadside picnic, I recommend it. You should, you should read it if you get a chance. I thought it was a fascinating book. Uh, number three, uh, Revenant Reads. A book where someone has returned from the dead. <coughs> now I'm going to go with uh, To Your Scattered Bodies Go by Philip Jose Farmer. I don't have a copy of that anymore. Uh, it's the first... Um, the first book in the River World series, and it uh, details a, uh, a planet on which every human who has ever lived is brought back to life and settled along the banks of this huge planet-encompassing river. It's an interesting, another interesting concept. <coughs> Uh, prompt number four is Criminale, a book where a crime takes place. 
Now, my pick for this one is one of the best. Um, the Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. I read this a couple of years ago for um, March Mystery Madness, and I loved it. Um, it's about a murder, of course, uh, Roger Ackroyd's murder. And uh, the plot twist is, uh, it really got me. So I would recommend this if you haven't read it already, uh, which most of you probably have, but it's a, it's a very good book. <clears throat> so number five, Book Time with Elvis. A book about time, time travel, or someone named Elvis. Uh, my first thought uh, with this one was Ubik by Philip K. Dick. But then I thought again, and I'm going to go with Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five. Billy Pilgrim becomes unstuck in time, unbeatable. Uh, this is this is a very good, uh, a very good one. Number six, middle of the book March. Your favorite book you read in March. Um, I reread. Blood Meridian as part of my family uh, reading and uh, considering all the other books I read in March this was the best so I'm gonna go with Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian um, prompt number seven uh, book buds a book about a great friendship this is another another cheat here um, because you would I would just naturally think of Lord of the Rings. Sam and Frodo, who could beat a friendship like that? But I'm going to mix it up a little bit, and I'm going to go with My Brilliant Friend, the best book of the century by Elena Ferrante. Um, the friendship of these two little girls growing up in uh, post-World War II Italy uh, is the center of the entire series of books. So... Very good friendship. Um, if you haven't had a chance to read this, I would recommend it. Best book of the century. Um, number eight, prompt number eight, Obscure Book Adventures. A book you love that never gets talked about. Well, you know, most of the books that I really love get talked about all the time on BookTube. So I had to search for this one, and I guess um, I'm going to go with Fat City. Fat City by Leonard Gardner, um, published, uh, well, it's, uh, it's about uh, a group of down and out, as well as up and coming boxers in the 1950s in Stockton, California, which is nicknamed Fat City. Um, it's also uh, has been adapted into a really uh, nice movie uh, that I really enjoyed starring Stacy Keach and um, the dude, Jeff Bridges, which I would highly recommend. Uh, let's see, book, uh, prompt number nine, Savage Reads, Savage Reads. A book with a monster or beast or a human acting beastly. This was not too difficult for me to pick Flashman. Flashman by George MacDonald Frazier. Uh, there's a whole series of these books. This is the first one. Uh, Harry Flashman, the, the central character in these books, is an entitled bully, coward, um, he's a rapist. I mean, any number of beastly adjectives that you could come up with for a person would fit Harry Flashman. And yet, after he's kicked out of, of his boarding school for misconduct and forced into the British Army, he seems to find himself in the right place at the right time throughout what becomes an illustrious career. 
he, he works his way up the ranks, hailed as a hero the entire way, despite being this, this garbage person. And um, like I said, it's a, there's a whole series of these books. So if, if this interests you at all, they're, they're very entertaining. They're, they're, they're funny in places if, if you can get past some of the subject matter. Um, but I mean, you can, you can get your fill of Harry Flashman. So go for it. That was prompt number nine. Now, finally, we come to prompt number 10, a book that fits your own channel, uh, your own channel name or the name of a channel you love. Now, um, a YouTube channel that I dearly love, especially right now, uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to leave book, booktube for, for the time being. Um, a channel that I love is called Husker Online. Uh, it's hosted by a couple of very knowledgeable uh, Nebraska sports writers. And they keep me up to the minute with the details and news about University of Nebraska sports, particularly at this time of the year, the hapless Huskers football team. So yeah, uh, Huskers, Husker Online, that's... That's the one. And, and I think the book, a book that kind of goes hand in hand with that would be Willa Cather's My Antonia, uh, a book about people struggling in Nebraska. Perfect. Okay, so I made it, I made it through. Um, thank you, Alan, for your patience. And if you, uh, any of you who have not done this, this tag already, you're it. Hope you're all doing well, uh, reading every day. Uh, but until next time, have a good one, BookTube.